this is Tuffy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you didn't see the last episode, watch the last episode because you have to. Just do it. If you haven't, just watch it. That's not me plugging my own video. You just have to if you're going to watch this episode. Basically, in the middle, I'm, um, in the middle of this. <laughs> That's what's going on right now. That is the true form of Ganon. And whoa! 100 damage the bow of light princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow i know for the battle with the dark beast ganon uh, when wielded by the hero it fires an arrow of pure light strong enough to oppose the calamity um well let's equip it then <laughs> and uh right there it looks like i don't even need to use arrows against it right let's see what this uh this baby can do then did it do it didn't do anything it didn't do any damage I may have missed it. I need to avoid its shots as it's shooting. Oh, the energy uh, covering Ganon's body uh, uh, will get through as his attack. Well, look, look. His body is called Malice. None of your attacks will get through. Okay. Uh, I will hold the Malice back as much as I can uh, to buy my power. Attack any glowing point you see. Attack any glowing point? It's all glowing. May, may I be? Right, let's just fire into its mass. Is that going to do anything? Or, like, maybe, is it elbows? Are they glowing? I'm not sure. Uh, shoot a glow. Oh, oh, well, here we go. There's a glowing area. Right, now, now I can see what it is that we need to, to do. Right, let's keep uh, circling my, my way around. I feel bad because I've spent so little time on this uh, this horse, and now it's suddenly brought in to, to do this. Let's let's soothe the, the horse down for a bit, and then let's go and try and loop around behind it. Uh, I, guess, what, what? I keep getting knocked off by the horse. I need to I need to become better friends with the horse. There we go. The horse is a, a little bit happy with me. It keeps just booting me off as I'm trying to, to battle it. And then I just smashed it straight into the side of a tree. Can I can I just damage it now? I can't. There must be another another point. Or maybe it's going to be uh, coming soon. Uh, that I can go and try and, uh, and attack it. And oh, keep, keep moving, horse. Keep moving. Keep moving. I don't know if I'm trying to make it go a little bit too fast. And there we go. There's uh, some more glowing areas. Let's go and try and uh, get over here as fast as we can. Please don't kick me off, horse. Please keep going. And here we go. Right, I got an opportunity to, to get some hits. One, two, and three. Oh, not quite. And three, and three. Okay, one, two, three hits. Then let's uh, soothe my horse down. And uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty uh, pretty hurt right now, if, uh, if you uh, look at it. Uh, and it looks like I can't damage it again. Until the glowing areas appear. I'm assuming they might appear on the, the other side. This time. Oh, no, no. I, can't, I keep pushing my horse too hard. <laughs> right, it's okay. Settle down, horse. Let me let me go and try and soothe it. And let's try and try and calm it down. And then, okay, now we need to move, though. Now we need to move because it is charging up for a big attack. Not anywhere near me, though, luckily. Let's just uh, keep our distance and... Oh, oh, it's on its underneath. Oh, I need to get underneath it. Right, come on. Come on, Blue. You can do it. And there we go. I got it right on the belly. I am not happy about being underneath here, especially if it goes and drops down. And sorry, I made you crash into a, another tree again. But the whole sky is like going pink now. Look at this. Look at like the whole sky. Oh, is it a blood moon? Looks like there's like a, a blood moon rising. Uh, Link, uh, up there. Well, where are we looking? Where are we looking? The the blood moon? Or is there something? Oh, on the top of it. Can I can I shoot there? I I, I think I think there was an opportunity. Uh, the very claw. Oh, do it. Do I need to like boost myself up, maybe, to, to be able to get it? Uh, I don't know. But this gives me a chance to do a, a few slow mo hits in order to be able to hit it. Were any of them close? Uh, I don't think so. Do I do I need to try and use like maybe use Ravali's Gale to get up there? I'm not sure. I'm just kind of spamming shots at it. Let's maybe try and get a little bit closer. And let's maybe try and use a reverse. Oh, no, it's charging. It's charging out of the way. Out of the way. Keep going. And just about able to, to dodge it there. Let's give this a go then. Sorry, horse. I am going to, to ditch you. Let me go and try and use a Ravalli's Gale, which I only have one of. And let's get as close to it as I can. Oh, use his attack. Oh, do I need to reflect it? Oh, no. I got it. I got it. That worked. I flew up and I was just able to shoot it. It's not happy about it. Oh, there's a big eye. I hate those big eyes. Oh, something flew out. Was that? Is that Zelda? It's Zelda! <laughs> Plot twist. Zelda was Ganon all along. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. She's been released, though. <laughs> Careful where you stand. <laughs> the ends of Zelda just getting squashed by one of its tusks. <laughs>
yes, we have destroyed Ganon. Well, I mean, I did, I did some of the work, but then Zelda kind of came and just <laughs> absolutely destroyed it. The light beats the darkness. Look at the castle. So we'd seen the blue there and not all of the calamity Ganon I've over it. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. May I ask, do you really remember me? Yes, I collected all but one of the memories. We did it! We defeated Ganon, the objective that was given to us at the very start of the game. 105 episodes ago was to defeat Ganon. And there was a bunch of stuff that I did between then. Most of it was optional. Like, the speedrunners of Zelda are crazy. They just, like, run straight to Ganon and just defeat him. But I went on a grand adventure. I did a whole load of shrines. I did all the Divine Beasts. I did the DLC. And then finally I was able to defeat Ganon. And he actually wasn't that big of a challenge <laughs> after all of that preparation. I knew I probably could have gone earlier, but I wanted to, to drag it out. But I am definitely uh, not done with my time playing Breath of the Wild. I'm going to jump back in, go straight back to Hyrule Castle, complete all of the, the shrines. But I think for this Let's Play, I could say that we're done. Ah, oh, this game is so good. It's such a good game. It is such an absolutely amazing game. I got to say, like, in terms of like a single player open world game, Definitely my favorite game, 100% my favorite Zelda game. And I'm sorry for everyone who likes Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past and all the, the other classics, but I mean, this is just so good. It's exactly my type of game. It was absolutely incredible. So what happens now if I, oh, oh really? Oh, this one's got to start. Okay, okay let's, let's load this back up and let's see. Is it just going to be me before defeating Ganon? Or is it going to be with Ganon defeated? Are you not allowed to be in the world once Ganon has been defeated? That would be a shame because I was hoping. I mean, obviously I could just not defeat Ganon. I could just like go and carry on doing everything else. But I thought it'd be cool to like see what the world would be like with Ganon defeated. But no, look. Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, this is basically the, if I walk into that room, it would start the, the battle against Ganon again. But, like, at the moment, Ganon isn't defeated, so you can't play the game with Ganon defeated. Because I was kind of curious to, to see what the castle would look like and wander around it with, uh, without Ganon defeated. That was a bit of a shame, I will be honest. But, as I said, I could just kind of carry on playing from here, and I guess just ignore Ganon for, for now and still uh, carry on uh, exploring the, the rest of the, the world, which is exactly what I'm going to, to do. So, that is going to be the end of this, uh, this Let's Play here, and the, the end of... Uh, our journey together, I guess, inside of Zelda. I know it was a long one. I know I was really slow and most people like finished this game like over a year ago and I was still <laughs> slogging my way through it. But as I said, I had so much fun and I just really wanted to, to literally drag it out as long as I could. And if you're stuck with me from the, the very beginning, thank you so much for, for staying through all of these episodes. And even if you have just jumped in just uh, to see how uh, it ended or what my reaction uh, to the ending uh, was going to be, then yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this episode all the the same but as i said that is going to be the end of it here i will be playing a plenty more uh different games uh, in the, the future as always at the end of one of these let's plays i encourage you to give uh, any suggestions to me uh, for any particular games that are coming out soon that you think uh yeah i would uh, enjoy and you would uh, enjoy uh watching but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye